Hi guys, PJ here, back with another Fallout 76 video. This time, it's a bit of a response to what people have been saying about the yellow shipping container that's in the Atom Store. Now, it's a great bit of kit, but Bethesda decided to not include a door. You can't even buy one separately, so you get two versions when you buy this. You get a completely sealed one, yeah, and an open-fronted one, but no door. So me and Jax have been doing a few builds with it, messing around with it, and you can put a door on it. It's just a little bit of faffing around. So we put this video together just to basically show you guys how to do it. It's not difficult. You don't have to do loads and loads of glitching and things like that. It's not difficult. And the overall effect does look pretty good if I'm truthful. You will need access to the flamer turret because yeah, you're going to need to destroy the container to do this, but it's really easy to do. So just follow it through step by step and you will get your door. So first things first, after you've destroyed your container, you're going to go for a floor. It doesn't matter what floor, any floor will do. But what is critical is the actual positioning of your floor. This is really important, guys, otherwise it's not going to look right. So pay attention to the height of this floor. Obviously, if possible, build this on a flat surface. That will really, really help. And also pay attention to the leading edge where it meets the container. So if you look at this now, you'll notice we've plonked it down and it's sticking out further on one side than it is on the other. This is not really any good. It's got to be pretty much bang on square so faff around with it for a bit until you can get it as near as possible it's worth putting the time in now for the overall effect later if you get this bit wrong or not quite right you're going to notice so make sure you spend your time get this floor absolutely pristine perfect edge there we go like that so it is a straight line all the way across and it also cuts into either side where the walls are correctly once you've managed to do that you are then basically going to put another floor behind it. You will snap to the floor you've just built, uh, which is in the destroyed container area. So it's actually level with the container floor. And then you can go on and find your wall. Now I chose a metal wall, but obviously you could put any old wall and do it reversed so that the yellow wallpaper, if you've got yellow wallpaper, you could have that showing on the outside maybe. Just an idea. You could have all sorts of different sort of fronts to it you could even have you know like the jail cell wall or something i don't know but i went for steel anyway and um you know as you can see it snaps really really nicely in place uh, it doesn't overhang it doesn't look out of place it sort of fits to the walls of the container which is quite nice once you're happy with your wall you've settled on whether you're going for an interior or an exterior look depending which side you stand of the wall you know as to whether you want the front of it facing outwards or inwards you then go for your door now we've just had a yellow door on the scoreboard so yeah i'm going to use the yellow door again you could use something much more in keeping with the container you're going to use maybe a steel door maybe the ones that you can buy a plan for where you've got the mesh at the top maybe something like that like a security door i don't know that's your choice guys but once you've put your door in you're free to go inside your container and repair it once repaired as you can see it's nicely molded in and looks great now the other floors that you've built around it you're going to have deleted and you can now blueprint this to put down in the future if you wanted more than one has for ideas what to put in it well the world is your you know ocean as it were i've put a power conduit going through the wall there which is a standard issue thing to do and a bit of an alien laboratory going on inside the thing does lend well to secret experiments i think so that's the route i've gone but you guys could put absolutely anything in there i think it's a really good bit of kit and that solves the problem Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you again next time with another Fallout 76 video. Bye for now.